Did you know Japan is not just about beautiful cherry blossoms? It's also a hot spot for the paranormal. From the bustling cityscapes to the serene countryside, there's a chilling undercurrent that runs deep. Take, for instance, the Aokigahara Forest. It's not your average lush green woodland. This place, also known as the Suicide Forest, holds a dark reputation. It's a popular spot, but not for the reasons you might expect. Instead of picnics and nature trails, it's a place where many choose to end their lives. An eerie silence blankets the area, disturbed only by the occasional rustling of leaves and whispers of the departed. Stories have circulated for years, suggesting that the forest is haunted, with many claiming to have encountered restless spirits during their visits. But this is just the beginning, the tip of the spectral iceberg, if you will. Japan's landscapes are dotted with numerous such eerie locations, each with its own spine-tingling tales. So buckle up as we embark on a journey through the top 10 most haunted places in Japan. At number 10, we have the Bridge of the Wailing Women. Now this isn't your typical charming, picturesque bridge. This one carries a tale of deceit, death, and hauntings. Dating back to the 16th century, this bridge is said to be the eternal abode of the spirits of several women who met a tragic end. The Takeda clan, a powerful and influential family of the time, is said to have tricked these women, leading them to their untimely demise. Imagine the horror of being deceived by those you thought you could trust, only to meet a fatal end. The pain, the despair, the feeling of betrayal, it's no wonder the spirits of these women are said to haunt the bridge. They're trapped in a loop of their tragic end, forever wailing their sorrow into the cold, silent night. Visitors to this eerie bridge have reported chilling experiences, unseen hands brushing past, whispers in the wind, and the distant sound of women wailing in despair. It's as if the bridge has become a conduit for their anguish, broadcasting their spectral cries to the living world. So if you ever find yourself on this bridge, listen closely. You might just hear the sorrowful wails of these spectral women, forever trapped in their moment of despair. The Bridge of the Wailing Women is a chilling reminder of the darker side of history, where innocent lives were manipulated and cut short. Next time you cross a bridge, remember the Wailing Women. Because bridges aren't just structures that connect two points. Sometimes they also connect the worlds of the living and the dead. Number nine is the Nakagusuku Palace Hotel, a place of luxury and ghosts. This hotel isn't your typical five-star resort. Located in the heart of Japan, it was built atop the ruins of an ancient castle. Yes, you heard it right. An ancient castle that held centuries of history and mystery within its walls. Now, imagine sleeping in a room that might once have been a battlefield or a royal chamber gives you the chills, right? The hotel is said to be haunted by the spirits of its ancient inhabitants, and some claim by the souls of workers who died during its construction. That's right, even the people who built the hotel couldn't escape its eerie grasp. The whispers of the past echo through its halls, and some guests have reported seeing apparitions and experiencing strange occurrences. From the luxurious suites to the grand dining hall, every corner of the Nakagusuku Palace Hotel holds a story, a glimpse into a past that refuses to be forgotten. So if you ever find yourself in Japan and decide to book a room here, remember, you might not be the only guest. Sleep tight and don't let the ghosts bite. Number 8. Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, a place of sorrow and eerie cries. We dive into the chilling tale of this haunting location, a testament to the catastrophic event that rocked the world in the mid-20th century. Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park wasn't just any park, it was the only structure left standing after the atomic bomb hit in 1945. A grim reminder of the devastating power of human invention, but it's not just the physical remnants of that fateful day that linger. Unseen echoes of the past are said to roam the park, whispering tales of their untimely demise. The park, once a bustling cityscape, is now a chilling landscape of silence, broken only by the ethereal cries of the victims of that catastrophic event. Imagine walking through the park, the wind rustling the leaves, and the faint, distant cries of the past reaching out to you. 
It's not just a place of historical significance. It's a spectral haven where the voices of those lost beckon from the other side. These spirits are not ancient samurais or scorned lovers from the feudal era. They're the echoes of modern history, a stark reminder of the horrors of war. They're the unseen inhabitants of the park, forever tethered to the place of their untold suffering. This haunting reality serves as a grim reminder of the past we should never forget. As we move forward, we carry these echoes with us, a chilling testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Remember, not all ghosts are from ancient times. Number six on our list are the Tojinbo Cliffs, a beautiful yet spine-chilling place. Set against the backdrop of the Sea of Japan, these cliffs are a popular tourist spot, offering picturesque views that can take your breath away. But there's a dark side to this natural beauty. It's said that the cliffs are haunted by the spirits of those who ended their lives by jumping off these steep precipices. Now, why would these spirits choose to linger at a place marked by such tragic events? Some believe it's because they're unable to move on, trapped in a cycle of despair. Others theorize that they remain to serve as a grim reminder of the sorrow that led them to leap into the abyss. Over the years, numerous accounts have surfaced of eerie sounds, shadowy figures, and a feeling of being watched. Some even claim to have seen apparitions, adding to the chilling lore of the Tojinbo Cliffs. So while the natural beauty of the cliffs may draw you in, it's the haunting tales that will stick with you long after you've left. It's a place where beauty and tragedy intertwine, creating an atmosphere that's as fascinating as it is unsettling. Next time you visit a cliff, remember the Tojinbo Cliffs. This stunning location serves as a stark reminder that even places of great beauty can hold stories of profound sadness. And who knows? Maybe you'll feel a chill run down your spine, a whisper of the sorrowful spirit said to linger there. At number five, we have the Kiyotaki Tunnel, a passage to the other side, perhaps? This eerie underground passage has been a hotbed of paranormal reports. Nestled in the heart of Japan, the Kiyotaki Tunnel is more than just a transportation route. Visitors have claimed to hear disembodied voices whispering in the darkness. Some even report feeling a sudden chill, as if unseen entities are passing by. The tunnel is steeped in local lore, with tales of spectral apparitions and strange phenomena. It's believed that the tunnel is haunted by the spirits of workers who lost their lives during its construction. These spirits are said to wander the tunnel, forever trapped in the place of their untimely demise. Some brave souls, who have dared to venture inside alone at night, speak of an overwhelming sense of dread and despair. They describe a feeling as if they're being watched, followed, or even chased. Yet when they turn around, there's nothing but the cold, dark tunnel behind them. So, next time you're in Japan and fancy a thrill, remember the Kayotaki Tunnel. But be warned, you might get more than just a scenic drive. Because in the world of the paranormal, tunnels are not always just about getting to the other side. Hey there! Are you enjoying our spooky tour of Japan's most haunted places? We're just getting started, but if you're enjoying this eerie journey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, you won't miss a single chilling story from our collection of paranormal phenomena. Stay updated with our latest videos and join us on more thrilling adventures. It's time to dive back into the world of the paranormal. So grab your courage and let's step into the next haunted destination. Number four, the Inukane Pass. Another underground passage, another haunted place. In the heart of Japan, there's a road less traveled. It's not for the faint of heart, but for those seeking a brush with the otherworldly. This is the Inukane Pass, an underground passage shrouded in chilling tales and whispered rumors of paranormal activity. Carved into the earth and veiled in darkness, the Inukane Pass has been a site of fascination for those drawn to the unexplained. Here, the veil between our world and the one beyond is said to be thin, pierced only by the spectral echoes of those who lost their lives during its construction. The whispers tell of the spirits of the laborers, their lives claimed by the harsh conditions and the unforgiving nature of the work. Those who have dared traverse the passage report unsettling encounters. 
Whispers in the wind, the feeling of unseen hands, and a deep sense of unease that settles in your bones. These spectral presences seem to be forever bound to the very stones that took their lives, eternally echoing the hardships they endured. Their voices, forever entwined with the wind that rushes through the pass, carry their stories to the living. To visit the Anukon Pass is to step into their narrative, to feel their presence, and to remember their untold stories. This is not just a passage through the mountains, it's a journey into the heart of the unknown. So next time you feel an adventurous urge, remember the Inukane Pass. But be warned, this is no ordinary road trip. Remember not all roads lead to Rome, some lead to the paranormal. Number three, the Aokigahara Forest, a place of despair and chilling tales. <sighs> Dubbed as the Sea of Trees, Aokigahara Forest is an expanse of dense woodland at the northwest base of Mount Fuji in Japan. But this forest isn't famous just for its scenic beauty or the eerie quiet that it offers. It's the forest's dark history that has earned it a place on our list. Aokigahara Forest has been associated with death and despair for centuries. Japanese folklore speaks of a grim practice called Ubasute, where elderly family members were allegedly abandoned in this forest during times of famine. The spirits of these forsaken souls are said to linger, filling the forest with an aura of sadness and dread. But the forest's haunting reputation doesn't end there. It has also gained notoriety as a popular spot for suicides. The high number of people who have chosen to end their lives in this melancholy woodland has only further cemented its status as one of the most haunted places in Japan. It's said that the souls of these individuals continue to haunt the forest, adding to its spectral population. Visitors often report feeling an overwhelming sense of despair and sadness upon entering the forest. Some even claim to hear whispers or to feel as though they are being watched. And while it's a popular destination for thrill-seekers and ghost hunters, it's not a place for the faint-hearted. Yet despite its grim reputation, Aokigahara Forest continues to draw in visitors, some seeking the thrill of the supernatural, others drawn by the forest's eerie beauty. But one thing is certain, this is no ordinary forest. It's a place where the veil between our world and the spectral realm seems thin, where every tree and stone seems to hold a tale of despair and death. So next time you think of a forest, remember Aokigahara. Remember that forests are not always about peace and tranquility. They can also be a repository for the deepest human despair, a place where spirits linger long after their bodies have departed. Forests are not always about peace and tranquility. Number two, the old Chusetsu Tunnel in Fukuoka. Are you ready to enter? Steeped in a history as chilling as the air that sweeps through it, the old Chuzetsu Tunnel in Fukuoka, Japan, is a destination that sends shivers down the spines of even the most seasoned ghost hunters. This centuries-old tunnel, once a bustling route for miners and merchants, now stands as an eerie testament to the past, a past that some say has yet to depart. The tunnel's reputation for being haunted is not without substance. Countless accounts tell of the spectral figures that roam its length, their ghostly forms appearing as fleeting shadows in the gloom. These apparitions, many believe, are the restless spirits of miners who once toiled within the tunnel, their lives cut short by the dangerous conditions they endured. But it's not just the sight of these spectral miners that has given the old Chusetsu Tunnel its haunted reputation. The sounds that echo through this subterranean passage are enough to make your heart skip a beat. The clanging of pickaxes against rock, the clatter of wooden carts, the distant rumble of voices, all remnants of a bygone era. Yet they fill the air as if the past is somehow bleeding into the present. Venture into the old Chusetsu tunnel and you might just hear the whispers of these long-gone miners, their voices carried on the wind that gusts through the abandoned shafts. It's a chilling reminder that while the miners may be gone, their spirits linger on, forever etched into the fabric of this haunting location. But remember, not all who enter the old Chuzetsu tunnel come out the other side unchanged. Many have reported feeling an overwhelming sense of dread, 
a chilling sensation that lingers long after their visit. It's as if the tunnel itself is alive, its spectral inhabitants reaching out from beyond the grave to those who dare to venture within. So are you brave enough to explore the old Chusetsu tunnel in Fukuoka? Or will you, like so many others, be left with a chilling tale to tell? A tale of the spectral miners who still haunt this eerie passage? Remember, not all tunnels have a light at the end. Finally, at number one, we have Himeji Castle, home to the most haunted location in Japan, Okiku's Well. This well is the stage for a chilling tale that dates back centuries. The story revolves around a servant girl named Okiku, who was falsely accused of losing one of ten precious dishes. The punishment for her alleged crime was severe and brutal. She was thrown into the well and left to die. Today, it's said that her spirit still lingers, trapped within the well's dark depths. Visitors have reported hearing a faint voice, counting from one to nine, followed by a heart-wrenching sob. This, they say, is Okiku, still searching for the missing tenth dish, unable to rest in peace. Okiku's well is more than just a haunted spot. It's a symbol of a tragic tale of innocence lost and a life cut short. It's this tragic history and the eerie reports that secure Okiku's well as the most haunted place in Japan. From wells to forests to tunnels and cliffs, Japan sure does have its share of haunted places. Just before we end, we have a bonus location for you, the Himuro Mansion. Some of you may recognize this name from the popular video game Fatal Frame. But did you know that the game was supposedly based on real events? Nestled in a remote region of Tokyo, the Himuro Mansion is steeped in a history of ritualistic murder and ghostly apparitions. The mansion is said to be the site of a gruesome family murder-suicide, the result of a failed ritual meant to keep a malevolent entity from entering our world. The spirits of those who tragically lost their lives are believed to still haunt the premises. Visitors brave enough to explore the mansion have reported seeing apparitions, hearing strange noises, and feeling a chilling sense of dread and unease. So if you're ever in the mood for a real scare, remember the Himuro Mansion. But be warned, it's not for the faint-hearted. This haunted house takes terror to a whole new level, promising an experience that will send shivers down your spine and make your blood run cold. From the Bridge of the Wailing Women to Okiku's Well at Himeji Castle, we've traveled through the most haunted places in Japan. We've treaded the path of sorrow at the Bridge of the Wailing Women, felt the ancient chills at Nakagusuku Palace Hotel, and heard the echoes of the past at Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. We've ventured into Himeji Castle, peered over the edge at Tojinbo Cliffs, and listened to the whispers of the Kiyotaki Tunnel. We've braved the shadows in Inukune Pass, felt the eerie silence of Aokigahara Forest, and ventured into the depths of the old Chuzetsu Tunnel in Fukuoka. And finally, we've listened to the counting ghost of Okiku's well at Himeji Castle. Each place, a story. Each story, a shiver down the spine. Remember, not all that glitters is gold, and not all that's old is just a tale. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.